hello guys welcome to another episode of designs with reverend media today we are going to design the flyer that you see here which i designed for a client write for me innovation they write series assignment project work and what have you as you can see on the flyer so without much time i do let's get started so first of all the size of this flyer is i use um, a4 size so you go to file the new you go to international paper then you go to a4 a4 is here it's a4 here then i send i will reduce the resolution to 200 then i'll click ok now i have my paper here as you can see i first design a logo for him then i use the logo for the design so the logo, the logo that you see here, i just design it and use it for the designs so first of all um the background of this um design is a plain i think um deep yellow or cream something like that okay so um you go to a rectangular box rectangle box this then you click and drag to fill the the project space or the form okay so now i have it here then i'll change the color i'll come here i'll change the color to i think it's yellow something like this okay okay let's uh, this one is okay so now i have my color here then as you can see as you can see here um i have a picture here which i downloaded from the internet so um i downloaded i downloaded from the internet uh, i think uh, that's here that's it mm -hmm. you can also download the same image from the internet you just type um writing or writing with pen you get it so i'll just bring it into my project here then i'll bring it here into my project i'll just increase it increase it then i'll take it this take this okay then this one is okay then i created a space for the logo so this is how i did it um first of all let me close this one here and come here i use the elliptic tool and draw a perfect circle by pressing on shift you draw a perfect circle very good now um i change the fill color to think this color is okay i change the fill to this color then i duplicate this same um circle here by right clicking on the circle on the layer tab then duplicate layer and i duplicate the layer okay so i increase it very good i'll bring the top one the one i increased to down so that it will be under the first one then i'll click on shift i'll change the color no i'll just reduce the opacity you see now then we can we can put it into the middle okay very good let's see it again okay i think it's okay uh -huh. oh no i think it's okay so we can we can increase we can decrease this one a bit very good so that's where we are going to place our logo that's where we are going to place our logo 
for not this for the picture for this picture not to distract me i'll lock it and i'll lock the background to i'll click on it by and then i'll click on the layer uh, panel i'll click on the uh, the padlock here then it will be locked so i can select all of this shape and reduce it okay very good then um i came here and write this one this one here okay right for me they said they are the name of their company is right for me so our type right let me decrease the size before okay no spacing right for me okay but i will do the size more then i'll bring it here very good very good uh, let's see as you can see the next one is uh, innovations i want to know the test that i'm using uh, innovations so i'll click up and i'll type innovations here change the font to let me use this font for the sake of time I might not get the same font as I used earlier so let me zoom in and bring this one down here a bit and let me increase it if you are using um, photoshop 2018 and below for you to get an aspect ratio for you have to click you have to press the shift before you do that but for 2019 and 2020 it's not you can just you just do it without clicking on the out or on the shift i'm using 2020 so then i would like to space this letter small so i'll come here it's already on 50 so i'll, I'll use 70 or 100 okay i think this one is okay let's check here and see as you can see you can see there is a white stroke around this one the right for me okay so let me select the right for me here i'll come to effects then click on stroke i'll make sure that the color is white then you increase it small maybe seven will do seven will do now yes that's that's it okay now let's move on then i came to this side no let me first do this background first this year okay so then i i use rectangle to to do so i i will select my rectangle to here then i will click and drag it across my project here or my space here then i'll change the color to i think the color is the same as this one change the color is to to wine or so very good mm -hmm. so um then i i wrote this one right okay very good so let me write we write so that's what they do Decrease it to 24. Yes, we write, we write all oh, sorts. We 
rights. Very good. We are now increasing small. I'll bring it down a bit. see whether okay this one is small like this so let me rewrite it again retype rewrite oh So let me first let me bring my logo so there's my logo so I'll he chose this one so I will select all the logos here I'll select everything here then I'll okay it's already link up so I'll bring it here and I'll bring my logo here I'll decrease my logo Very good. I'll bring it here and make it bigger so that I can see it well. I'll make sure I put it in the middle. Then I select all, then I will increase my width. Okay. I think it's good okay so I love it this one they write CVs assignments project works report business plan and all those stuff okay so let me type it fast so let me finish typing everything fast then we move on Center. Okay, very good. Now our text, they are ready here. So I will increase it so that it will fit within this place. Okay, in this place, very good. Then I'll click on the type to I'll cut this one here. Control X. Click on the OK and paste it here. Another one here. So the font of this one is 30.9. So I'll make this one also 30.9. 30.9. Okay, so yes, now I have it very good. So it is here. Then I use a shape line to divide it. So I, I use the shape uh, the rectangle to then I change the color to same color you can click on the color palette here and use your uh, color picker to select any color on your project very good so let me decrease it a bit very good and so there is this uh, pictures that I also downloaded from the net I type business reports project working curriculum beta so I have my pictures right uh, at, my, at my download folder so the pictures are here uh, the first one is here the second one is here and the second third one is here okay so I will bring them into my project to Photoshop to Photoshop here
or let me close it and bring it it bring it back again okay so yes i have to be here then go to my download it's right here click on play then i will place it very good okay so now my pictures are ready here very good my pictures are ready here so i have to resize it to smaller shape i have this one also here i'll resize it here i also have this one here i'll also resize it here then i'll position it to where i want it to be then this one too will be here this one too will be here let me see the first one okay no okay no what i did was let me let, let, let me bring this one here first i use this shape this shape here frame two okay so i draw the frame to here very good so now i have my frame to here then i'll copy by pressing on alt very good another one here make sure the spacing is, is the same very good then I place in my yes very good exactly very good that's the work of the frame two and I'll bring this one here I'll frame it I'll put it inside then I will increase it Because this one is um, the size is not fitting well. I'll increase it small. And I also use a rectangle to under it. to select the same color here that is why okay good then I'll bring it into the shape here then I'll bring this one under this one too very good that's it I hope you get it then I left with this one, the curriculum beta. Let's place it inside, then I will increase it. That's how I did it. Then the next one is the contacts in the motor. Let me do the motor first. Okay, so um, I use the rectangle to here. Then I change the color to choose this the same color here. I'll click on the color palette here. Then I'll use my color picker to select the same color here then uh, 
the motor is no one is in position in position of knowledge then type motor here I will reduce the side to 18 14 and I will increase it ok I will zoom it and then Auto. So one is we proceed tree of knowledge. to write for you okay oh my typing skills is uh, allow us to write for for you very good so I'll bring in I'll bring it down here click increase it a bit I'll change the font to Arial 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 then I change the the motto where to I'll use my color picker to pick any color from here or oh, here. Now change it. Very good. So leave it the the telephone. Yes. So the contact. I'll use my contact. This contact is not in my head, so I'll click. copy this one by clicking on uh, pressing on alt and yeah, I'll drag and drop okay I'll click on my right to out then I'll edit it contact because this one I because I use this font, it's having the same property, so I will just can see the white stroke around it. I'll just blindfold the effects, then it will go. I'll reduce the font, then enter. I'll type my number 0346927182 or Okay. Then I will reduce it. Guys, so I think this one is very small. Let me select let me select all of this ones here and I'll bring it to the top a bit select this one to bring it to the top then I will increase the contact because the contact is very very important there are some things on the floor that are very very important what they do the contact and they are where they are but this one is not having a vent so guys um, as you can see on the original one there are also some shapes here which I did it for it to look nice so we are going to do that um, I just use the pen to pen to uh, to do that shape I click here then 
I press shift and click here for straight line I click here then I hold and drag for a curve to get a curve to get a curve um, shape or line then I'll press on alt I click here then I'll join the line oh guys so first of all make sure that your before you, you draw a shape make sure that your at this place your it will be on shape so let me do it again I'll, I'll click here press shift click here press and I'll click here again I won't press shift again because I want to draw a curve now I'll click and and drag for me to get the curve that I want so this one is okay you see the shape is now there I'll, pre I'll press on alt and I'll click on anytime you draw a, a curve you have to click on you press on alt and click on the point here for it not to get another curve as you are joining this one so I'll click here then I'll join it now I have my shape here I'll click on the rectangular box then I'll change the color of the shape let's go back and see oh okay so then I'll change the color of the shape here I'll click on re rectangle come here then click on the color palette here I think the shape is like this one the color very good okay then you duplicate the same thing so I'll come to the my uh, layer panel now I have shape one here I'll right click on it I'll click on duplicate layer click on ok then now I will increase this one the one under it then I'll click on um, rectangle to I'll, I'll change the color this one the color should be lighter one no undo I have to select this one this one is at the so let me bring this one to the front okay so then I'll go and select change the color again now the color I choose already is here so I'll bring it here very good as you can see um, that um, I want to I want this point to meet the other one so I will click on my direction to then I will bring it here so that they meet okay I think this one is good. very good then I will click on the the last one here and now I will duplicate again then I will also increase it very good then I'll change the color. I'll click on rectangle to click here. Come to my color palette here. Then I'll change the this one to it must be very light. Yeah, let me let me bring this one down here. Okay. Now you can use any color that you want. Maybe let, let me change this color. this one is okay you see the this shape has um, covered the contact so you click on the contact then you bring it back above that shape very good so that's it guys then as you can see the original one I have um, something here like a feather a feather feather pen here I also downloaded from the internet download this as you can see my PNG um, file is here I'll bring it into Photoshop bring it here 
and I'll do my selection here. So I'll use the um, the quick selection tool. I'll decrease the brush size. Press the plus here to add. Click on the plus at minus here. I'll remove this one from there. Plus, this one should be inside. Okay, so I think that's good. It's a good selection. Then I'll click on the selection. I'll make a cut here. Very good now. My distance is transparent. My feather is transparent. I'll bring it back to the to my project. I'll decrease the, the size. I'll position it here. I'll make sure that um, it is it is the first one above the background. So I'll bring it down here. Here's the background. Very good so that one cover then i'll change the color so i'll go to i'll click on it i'll go to effects go to color overlay then i'll choose my color if you first choose this color then you get a deeper color of it yes. so i think it's okay okay so guys it is how I designed this flyer for a client. I hope it was very, very useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't also forget to click on the notification bell so that you get weekly tutorials from Reverend Media. Thank you very much. We shall meet again. Bye.